So, with all the different type of a combination, the total original creative ragas, which are known as Mela Karta, they are only 72. Derived from those Mela Kartas, there are lot of ragas have come out. They are the parent raga and the Janya raga. That means the ragas came out of that, derived from that Mela Karta. It has the resemblance of that raga. This basic lessons have been chosen from the number 15 Maya Malava Gaula Ragam which is normally said as an easy ragam for a beginner. So, number 15 has been chosen for the basic lessons. All the basic lessons have been composed. It was done by the great grandfather of Carnatic music, Purandaradasa. So, first step, we learned the alphabet of it, Sarigama Padanisa. Sani Dapa Magadisa. And in that lesson we will see. First, we have always three speeds to sing in the basic lessons. First speed, each beat has only one swara. Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Ta, Ni, the ascending order, likewise the descending order. And in the second speed it is doubled. Each beat has two swarams. Sari Gama Pada Nisa. And the third speed it again doubles. Four. Sari Gama Pada Nisa Sani Dapa Magadi. So throughout the basic lesson, these threes are very compulsory it is adopted without fear. Now we will see the first lesson, Sarali verse. Second one and the third and the fourth. Sari Gama Sari 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 Gama Padanisa 
Likewise, all the lessons they go in three speeds. The notations are very important in the music. The second lesson, which goes beyond the sa, sa, ri, ga, ma, pa, da, ni, then the upper active, it touches the upper active, sa, ri, ga, ma, in the upper. So, to mark that one, there is a dot above the sa, ri, ga, whatever it comes beyond the sa. Likewise, whatever it comes below the sa, there is the dot below the swara. The notations are normal, normally a comma which denotes one space. The semicolon is two space. And if uh, three means again semicolon plus one comma three. Likewise, the notation goes. And the unit lagu completes, then you put half the talam, you put one stroke, one line. Then another dhritam, there is one more line. When another dhritam, the tala cycle ends, there double line is there. That's normally used. For the basic lessons, this much is the notation, very important notation, which one should do. The second lesson is the upper sai. That we will see it now. It goes step by step beyond the sa, sa, ri, ga, ma, in the upper act. Sa, ri, ga, ma, pa, ma. 